Hi friends, in this video let us see transient response rate at question asked in day 2005 EC paper. The question is the condition on RLC such that the step response Y of T in the figure has no oscillation. So they have given one series RLC circuit and what they ask is when this response has no oscillation. The option A is R must be greater than or equal to 1 by 2 root LC. Option B, R must be greater than or equal to 2 root of L by C. Option C, R must be greater than or equal to 2 into root L by C. Option D, R is equal to 1 by root L C. So, we have to find under what condition the step response has no uh, oscillation. So, you see we have two memory element, is a storage device. So, L and C. So, one R, one, uh, sorry, one L, one C. So, L and C are storage device. So, number of storage elements indicate order of the system. So, it is order, second order system. Right? And we know in RLC circuit, R determines damping. R is the reason for damping. So, now what we do, we take the Laplace transform of a given system, output by input, Laplace transform of output by input. That is, we find the second order transfer function. From that we will find under what condition it has no oscillation. So what is a Laplace transform? So Laplace transform of output. Output is Y of t. Input is U of t. They are given the output by input is Y of s divided by U of s. Okay. So this I can write as you see output is taken across C. So it will be equal to voltage across that one. So 1 by SC. Everything in Laplace domain I write. So, divided by total resistance R square plus S into L plus 1 by SC. Clear? So, this is the transfer function. So, what I am going to do, I will simplify this. So, it will be 1 by S square LC plus 1 by SC R fine and uh, plus 1 divided by SC. Here also we have 1 by SC. Is it okay? So what we are going to do now is so this SC, this SC will be cancelled. So that is equal to 1 by what we get is um, S squared LC plus SCR plus 1. Okay. So, what I am going to do here, I take uh, LC outside. So, 1 divided by LC outside, it will become S squared plus SR by L, S plus 1 by LC. Okay. So, this I write as uh, 1 divided by LC. This is S squared plus R by L, S plus 1 by Lc. So, this is what Y of S divided by U of S. That is Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input transfer function like we what we had in control system. Now, we compare with the second order system that we studied. So, what is that? The characteristic equation of second order system S squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Right? For no oscillation, what should be the condition? For no oscillation, zeta must be greater than 1. That is, power damped system has no oscillation. So, from this, compare these two equations. This indicates, let us assume this is 1, this is 2. Compare 1 and 2. What we get is, omega n square is equal to 1 by nc. This means omega n is equal to root of 1 by LC. Next, 2 zeta omega n is equal to R by L. So, what is zeta? Zeta is equal to 1 by 2 into R by L. Omega n is 1 by root LC. So, 1 by 1 by root LC will be equal to root LC. Fine. Okay. If I simplify, what I get is zeta is equal to R by 2 root of C by L. 
So for no oscillation, what is the condition? For no oscillation, I told zeta must be greater than one. This implies r by two root of c by l must be greater than one. So this indicates what we get is r must be greater than two root of l by c. So this is the condition for the system has no oscillation for step response. So now we go and see which option is correct. The answer is r must be greater than or equal to root of l by c. So option c will be matching with the corresponding equation. You can, okay, you can see whether the system equal also you can put. What is the reason? For critical damping and over damping, there is no oscillation. For critical damping and over damping system, we know we don't have any oscillation. Right? That we studied already in control system. So, uh, this has no oscillation. So, if you include both, so it will be equal to, uh, zeta must be greater than or equal to 1. So, this indicates what we get is zeta must be greater than or equal to 1. So, this is greater than or equal to 1. So, this must be, um, sorry, less than 1, right? It is, uh, r must be greater than or equal to 2 root L by C. So, it is greater than or equal to, we have to put, right? Okay. So, this is the way we can solve the problem, right? But uh, we have a standard result that we can know, right? So, that we must remember for over damping, right? For over damping system, just now we have saw R must be greater than or equal to greater than for over damping to this is for only over damping right for critical damping this is for second order system you just remember r is equal to 2 root of l by c right for under damping r must be less than 2 root of l by c. So, from this also we can understand. For uh, no damping, r is equal to 0. r is equal to 0 means no damping because I told damping is due to what do you call resistance. So, r0 indicates it is undamped system. Right. So, I hope you understand this. Thank you.